The analogy that I wanted to give you today is it's kind of apropos because we've had this weather today. We're from Louisiana and hurricanes are a common, common thing. But the eye of a hurricane is the center of the hurricane. And in the eye of the hurricane, it is completely still. It is quiet. You don't hear the wind. There is no rain. There is no nothing. It is calmness. And all the noise and all the wind and all the rampage is going on around it. But the eye of the hurricane is where we need to stay. That's who we've been. That's been your identity all year long. Stay in that quiet zone that you get into. Don't want it too much. Don't be distracted. Don't do any of those things. Do the things that have been your normal all year long. I truly believe nothing needs to change today. I truly believe that your normal is enough. I truly believe that you are the best team on that floor and that you just need to go act like it. I truly believe that if we start fast and finish strong, we will have the result we want. We're on the final day. Let's stay true to who we've been. Let's be exactly what we are. And let's go get it. Go Tigers. This postseason started with 36 teams. It's down to the last four. And what a journey it has been. If basketball has March Madness, women's gymnastics has April Anarchy. Spoken about LSU all season, the question comes up, is this the year? And that may ring even louder here today. Head coach Jay Clark said he has to address it with his team. Your mentality must stay the same when you are hunting, and now you're the hunted. The number one team in the country on the floor exercise, and, and they tumble clearly head and shoulders above the rest of the nation are the LSU Tigers, and they have a sensational freshman of their own, Connor McClain, who will get things started here. Floor, Connor McLean opening up with a massive double layout. Connor McLean is exhibit A on how dominant LSU is on this event. She could anchor almost every floor team in the country, and here she is leading off Alley. Outstanding freshman Amari Drayton follows a 9-9-2-5 for McLean. That was one of the best double layouts I have seen. The second flip was almost higher than the first. The 2024 NCAA champion on floor exercises, Aaliyah Finnegan. Aaliyah Finnegan in 9.91.25. Here is the NCAA all-around champion, Haley Bryant. This tumbling pass, double front, so difficult. One of the only gymnasts in the world to do. Tell you what, she is unfazed. One of the best in the business here is Kaya Johnson. She follows Haley Bryant's 9.9375. A huge part of this LSU Tiger team and anchoring the floor lineup and maybe at the biggest moment of her career. Good job. Look, I told y'all we don't have to be perfect. Let's not be let's not start the pressing and trying to be perfect. Let's go big. Let's stay aggressive. Keep the energy going, okay? We got momentum right now. Let's build on it. The fire's lit. Throw gasoline on it one thing at a time. Start fast. Thank you. Here we go. One title up for grabs and four teams all with a strong argument as to why it could be them. And after one, we're as close as we expected. We're just getting started here in Fort Worth. Rotation one down, three more to go before determining a new NCAA champion. She flew on the floor exercise and Amari Drayton can fly here on vault as well. Just during this vault in September, that was fantastic. Savannah Shane Hare's turn. Very good ball from Savannah. Sometimes she under rotates and did a great job taking a hop forward on that event. Kaya Johnson here on ball for the Tigers. This difficult ball being done in the competition. Yurchenko double twist the type of ball that we see at the Olympic Games. I think Coach Clark is going to be very happy with that landing. Might be their first 9 9 here in this rotation. Haley Bryant. In my opinion, the greatest single piece of gymnastics done in the country. 
stick. Different vault than we've seen so far today. Front pike half off. Just unbelievable. One of the best in the country. Good job. Way to stay inside your head, okay? Good job. Don't let the scores, no circumstance affects us, okay? Good momentum right there. Let's pick it up, okay? Momentum is a big drug. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Here's your score, ladies and gentlemen, we told you it would be close. We deliver, we do not lie to our audience. All four teams within less than three tenths. Are you kidding me? Utah only one tenth behind the highest ranked team in this session, the LSU Tigers. Alexis has struggled with this dismount right here. No issues today. Kyle Johnson on bars, third gymnast for the Tigers. Watch how dynamic and quick she is on this event. She is so intentional about every single handstand like that. Wow. In my opinion, Kaya Johnson, the best double layout in the country. Watch this pirouette. Wow. Impressive. Usually in the competition, you tend to play it safe. Wow, this might be the highest bar score we've seen all night. And Savannah on bars, double front, half twist. Very difficult dismount. Coach, one more rotation. Your team heads to beam. I just saw you huddle them all up. What's the message? It's just stay focused on what we're doing, and it's the same message that I give them all the time. Is, you know, we're three down. We got one to go. We knew this thing was going to be tight. It's supposed to be, right? I mean, it's the best four teams in the country right now. So it's a great atmosphere in here. We're having fun with it. Could have used a little more a little more execution there at the end on, on our landings, but, man, we're in it, and it's fun. We've got to finish it out. We'll see what happens. Best of luck. Thank you so much. Jay Clark says he got to circle the goal, and eventually you will score. Or they're going to try to score. They've got one rotation left. They're going to have to catch Utah in this rotation. Utah, they will end on the vault. Florida will be on the floor exercise. The Cal Bears will be on the even bars. LSU on the balance beam. Man, pressure on the Tigers. Sierra on this event is a great leadoff. She's confident, takes a lot of pride on this. Sierra told me she imagines herself between two brick walls, reminds her to stay tight, squeeze every part of her body. And this LSU team needs this Beamer team. This will give them a huge boost of confidence. Sierra Ballard has done it all season long for the Tigers. She focused in the offseason. She said it wanted, to, wanted this to be her best year. And my goodness, Haley Bryant and Kaya Johnson get all the attention, but you don't win if you don't have a Sierra Ballard on your team. On the plane now on beam. She is a freshman. She's been perfect on this event. Needs to be here because Savannah Shane here is 93875 is the score they want to drop. On this screen, we have two gymnasts right here that I don't know if they realize how good they are. Well, the world realizes how good they are. Connor McLean showed it right there with that cold-blooded beam routine. Watch her feet and her knees as she hits the beam on this. She flies on her dismount. Watch her knees on the round off. I spoke to Haley, and she told me that Coach Clark tells her your normal is enough. Helps calm her down before pressure situations like this. years ago, the two-year-old Aaliyah Finnegan stepped into a gym for her first gymnastics class. It was a mommy and me class with mom and Linda Bell. Now she stands on the podium with just over a minute between her and something the LSU Tigers have never done in their almost 50-year history. She's done this gymnastics thousands of times, but in this sport, you raise your hand once and you get one shot. Test for Aaliyah. She's going to connect three skills in a row. This will set the tone. Back to spring layout, layout. Wow. 
thin tactic. Just the dismount. Pain of fall. The greatest team to have never won a national title is no longer. They will get it. Maddie Williams finishes up for Cal on bars. Cannot catch the Tigers, but it will be the best finish in Cal Bear history as well. Jay Clark hates the title of best team to never have won a title. He said it's a process. He said you hang around the goal long enough and eventually you score well. They've been hanging around the goal. They've been in the pocket of the goalie. And this time, they slammed it into the back of the net. Yes! <laughs> I tell you what, the expectations have been high. It's been national title or bust for LSU. And it's got to be poor joy, but also relief as well. So many emotions um, for so many reasons. This team is full of individuals that have incredible character and, and integrity and love for each other and you know, all the things that you hear from coaches when they sit at a podium like this in a moment of victory. But I promise you it's a real thing that we, we spend time and work on and, and, and try, to, try to get better at every single year. And a lot of adversity that's sitting up here from the past. There's, people out there on our team that did not get to compete tonight but I promise you were vital to the to the success of of what this team did I'm just so happy for them I, I um, told you that two days ago that, that that's what I would look forward to is to see them celebrate and, uh, and that's what that's what moved my emotions at the end was was to see them experience that feeling of, of finally getting over the hump and, and being able to kind of exhale as the, as the scores came in. And it was just clutched.